believe that OPEC will need to cut production in 2018 again. I think it's premature to talk about cuts uh, prior to seeing the effect of the decision that we took uh, two months ago. Um, I think uh, we need to monitor uh, the, uh, the production. We need to ensure that uh, the export levels of production is, uh, is also uh, part of what we look at. As, uh, as stated, and uh, I think the, uh, the expectation for the second quarter from a demand point of view uh, would be positive. Uh, therefore, we are expecting to see, uh, to see uh, more uh, market recovery and we see lower, uh, lowering the, uh, the stocks in, in the next uh, quarter. Yeah, and you're talking about market recovery, Minister. When do you think oil prices will recover to $60 a barrel? And is that a significant psychological level? I think I think talking about a certain price would be would be a bit a bit dangerous. The market is uh, is facing uh, a challenge, two challenges. One is the challenge of uh, some of the the countries are trying to to recover their production. They were not part of the deal. The second issue is the historical, uh, the historical storage uh, that we need, uh, we need to reduce. The, uh, uh, and at the same time, some of the production is, is, is coming back. What we try to do in OPEC is to, to, uh, to cut the production to allow the market recovery to become, to become faster. The, uh, how long will, the, will that take? I think it will drag us into 20, 2018, definitely. Is it going to be the first quarter or second half of, of 2018? We need to monitor that with, the, uh, with two, those two parameters. We need to see more stocks uh, withdrawal, and uh, we need to see at the same time uh, some control of the, the, the production from some of those countries which we were, part, were not part of the deal.